Hey hi guys, I am Guru Suthar. Welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss about physical problem of previous year CSIR NET paper, right? So, uh, physical part of CSIR paper does not change because the physical uh, part of uh, mainly based on a formula. Okay, and the formula does not change, right? So, uh, and we solve some problem of uh, physical. Uh, okay. So first problem is come in December 2017. Okay, and this uh, problem with four marks, right? It's give four marks. Okay, so uh, the problem is that the reaction, uh, the reaction between A and B is carried out for different initial concentrations, right? So different, uh, different initial concentrations, and the corresponding half life time are measured. The uh, data is in table, right? So the data is in table of reactions. Okay. So what we'll find uh, the rate or the rate can be represented as okay. So there are four type of rate are uh, given in this question. So okay, so one is the right answer, right? Uh, so we we will find the rate of reactions. Okay. So first of all, uh, you can see there are concentrations and there are also concentration and there are half life. Okay. So we know that about uh, the half life formula of zero order or first order of second order. Okay, this reactions may be zero order, may be first order, and may be uh, uh, second order, right? So uh, the for the zero order of reactions half life is that concentrations upon two k zero, right? Initial concentrations, right? And for the first order half life is equal to 0 0.693 upon k1 okay it's very simple right and uh, the second order half life formula is that 1 upon k2 okay so uh, this is the zero order half life formula first order and second order okay now we will discuss on this and on this right so you can see uh, for the a for the reactant a the concentration is that in this 500 and in this also 500 it means the concentration does not change okay so it means there are constant the uh, concentration does not change right okay and uh, in this uh, reactant b the concentrations are increased with 10 10 okay so uh, the concentration are increased right and the half life does not change okay when the concentrations are increased okay so concentrations are increased and half life does not change it means the uh, the half life of the reactions does not depend on concentrations okay so there also depend on concentration there also depend on concentration but there are there in, in this term there are uh, d does not uh, uh, concentrate right so this this one uh, this one formula for the first order reactions so this uh, this reaction is the first order reactions okay so this is a first order reactions okay so b is the first order reactions right okay and uh, now we uh, now we uh, see there is 10 and there is 20 right so reacts uh, so uh, concentrations are increased with 10 and their concentrations are constant and there the half life also change right so half life are decrease and concentrations are increased it means the concentrations and the half life are, are inversely proportional okay so they are directly proportional it means that this is not for uh, this reactions and there are concentration the uh, there are no concentrations okay so this is also no there are concentrations and half life are inversely proportional and this is for the second order reactions right so a is the second order a is the second order reactions right so a is the second order reactions and b is the first order uh, first order of reactions okay the rate of uh, the uh, so uh, the rate can be represented by the rate can be represented by a a is the second order and b is the first order right so the rate is that a2 and b1 okay so this is this will be right answer okay so uh, right answer is a c third third number is a right answer okay 
Okay, so let's take a another example, right? Okay. So this is a second problem and its problem come in December 2016 and it, uh, it gave two marks, right? So uh, the problem is that for, for reactions with an activation energy of 49.8 kJ per mole, the, the ratio of the rate constant at 600 Kelvin and 300 Kelvin is approximate uh, this one, right? And the value of R is given, okay. So uh, according to uh, RNS equations, right? According to RNS equations, uh, log k2 by k1 is equal to activation energy upon 2.303 r right 1 upon t1 minus 1 upon t2 okay so this is according to ornith equation right so this is ornith equation so uh, the value is k2 k2 it means k600 and k1 is k300 okay and the activation energy it means uh, 49.8 kJ per mole okay and a value of r is t1 is 300 and t2 is uh, uh, and uh, t2 is uh, uh, 600 right okay so value put in this uh, formula log k600 upon k300 is equal to um, activation energy in uh, in this uh, kilo okay so i convert in joule so multiply uh, multiply by thousand right right okay yeah and divided by 2.303 and value of r is 8.3 right and the t1 is that 300 and t2 is that 600 right okay uh, so now what what we'll do um, this formula uh, is in log form right so it's convert in, in form it means the 2.303 are negated right okay so k600 upon k300 is equal to 49.8 multiply by 1000 upon 8.3 and there say 600 and 300 right so there come with 2 minus 1 1 upon 600 right so cancel 20 to 20 okay and these are also cancel and 83 divided to 498 6 times right 6 times and 6 are also divided 6 okay so we finally we find k600 and k300 is 10 right so uh, this is in form right so we take an anti log so okay so anti log is k600 and k300 is power of e is 10 okay so right an answer is that right e, uh, power of e 10 right so this will be right answer okay it's very simple okay and the for uh, don't forget this formula on this equation equation it, it may be repeated in 2018 csr net exam right okay so uh, next problem is that so this is problem number three and it's come in December 2017 and it's to give four marks and very simple problem right okay and problem is that Arnis equations for uh, the two chemical reactions are this one and this one okay and their even is greater than E2 and temperature T and uh, four uh, answer are given in which one is the right answer okay so what we will do uh, we uh, so solution be divided K2 by k1 right so there uh, they, uh, there is a a2 e power a2 upon rt and a1 e power e1 upon rt right uh, next a2 upon a1 r migrate left right so we find k2 k1 multiply by uh, a1 a2 is equal to e there is a e2 right okay and you know that this term are um, goes to upside then negative 
sign are converted in positive, right? right? So positive even, okay? And their RT are as a common upon RT, right? Okay. So next, you can see K2, K1 multiply A1, A2 is equal to E, their E1 minus E2 upon RT, okay? And you know that their E1 is greater than E2, okay, right? So E1 is greater than E2. E1 is greater than E2. It means uh, we find uh, the magnitude of this coefficient is uh, greater than 1. So we will find K2, K1, A1, A2 is greater than 1, okay? And the next is if we migrate there, so we will find a1, A2, K1, K2, okay, and also I write in this way, K1, K2, A1, A2, and this is our right answer. K1 upon K2 is less than A1 upon A2. K1 upon K2 is less than A1 upon A2. Okay, this is our right answer. Now it's give four marks. Very simple, right? Okay, so let's take another example, right? So this is next uh, problem and this problem are come in December 2017, okay? And the problem is the specific conductance of a solution is 0 0.176 ohm per centimeter if uh, the cell constant is 0 0.255 in a centimeter inverse, the conductance of the solution is this one, this one, this one, or this one. Okay. There are four options are given and in which one is the right answer. Okay. So a very simple formula and the very simple uh, this problem. Okay. Any specific conductance or conductivity formula is that conductance into cell con uh, cell constant right so so uh, in this question in this uh, problem we will know about specific conductance and we will know about uh, cell constant okay and we will find the conductance right okay so uh, the specific uh, conductance is that 0 0.176 right so the conduct the conductance is g and multiply by cell constant and the cell constant is that 0 0.255 okay 0 0.255 it's so very simple then g is equal to 0 0.176 are divided by 0 0.255 when we calculate this so you will find 0 0.690, right? So the right answer is B. So B is very right answer. Okay. So very simple. It's uh, the physical part are depend mainly on uh, the formula. Okay. Yeah. So don't leave this uh, physical part, right? Okay. Let's take a next example. So in this problem, this problem number five, the electrochemical cell potential E after the reactant and product which equilibrium right so equilibrium right and uh, E naught is, uh, is that a standard cell constant and N is the number of electrons are involved right and they, uh, and they give four uh, answer in which one is right okay so they are used equilibrium okay so in this equilibrium E is equal to zero right so right answer is that four number okay d right four number is right but if they are not given equilibrium so this formula is that e cell is equal to e naught cell minus 0 0.059 upon n law reductions upon oxidations right so this formula are used if the equilibrium are not given in this problem okay but they are equilibrium it means e is equal to zero okay so don't wait uh, the put the value of this in this uh, uh, formula right so four is the right answer okay
so this is very simple okay so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching